Hollywood. Going somewhere? Yeah, just drive, man. We're going to Hollywood. Oh, so if you remember right, we have to find a Nosferatu named Gary <laughs> who lives in the sewers. <laughs> who lives in a pineapple under the sea with SpongeBob. Ain't seen you here Whoa. before. And if I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. So that's your next stop. Where can I find him? Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. Right over there. I must say, there are a shit ton of vampires in this city. Like, oh my god. Okay, there's Red Hot. It's a gas station, I guess? I'm not sure. Um, Ground Zero Internet Cafe and Gaming Center. That sounds awesome. Logger Resources. Where the... Oh, it's the Lucky Star Motel. That's where I'm going as soon as I get done dealing with Isaac. Um, cafe. Creepy. Not. Definitely not a vampire's house. Sunset printing. Here, Golden Age jewelry. Alright. Okay, I guess we go around the back. Isaac, what's up? Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? Uh, basically, I am looking for an Osferatu. So, you've come to barter information with the sewer rats. LaCroix must really be desperate to be stooped to consorting with their kind, and asking for my help of all peoples. Um, where can I find them? Perhaps. However, before we discuss how I might help you, there is the matter of tribute. I do not like where this conversation is headed. Tell me old-fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. All right, what do you want, man? What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? All night land party? Oh, I can make the pickup. Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? Do it immediately. Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. Thanks, man. You know, honestly, he got right to the point. He was very polite. He actually values my time. I, I could I could deal with this guy, man. He's a better boss than LaCroix, who yells at me 50% of the time. Alright. So, we'll hit up the internet cafe, but I think I'd really like to investigate the Lucky Star Motel. Oh my Whoa. gosh, is that you? Everyone was worried sick about you. When you didn't show up and didn't call and nobody knew anything about what happened to you, we thought you were dead. Um, Are you okay? You know what? Never mind. We have to help you. Um. Who are you? It's me, Samantha. Don't you. Did you suffer amnesia? Is that it? Let me make a call. We'll, we'll get everybody together. We, we can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. That's. The important that's a... thing is that they know that you're alive. Um. I. Uh. I, I think you made a mistake. I just moved here. Come on. This is serious. I know it's you. Don't you recognize me? It's me. It's Samantha. What happened to you? Mm, honestly, Samantha. Please. It is you. I don't think you know what you're saying. We're gonna help you. You'll see. That's not Everybody good. just wants to see you safe and back to your old self. Wait here. I I'm gonna make a call. It's gonna be okay. But. Um. It's gonna be okay. Samantha, you're not leaving me a lot of choice. 
Samantha, you're not leaving me a lot of choice. Samantha, I can't let you make this phone call. You know this is gonna end very poorly for you. I can't... I'm really sorry, Samantha. Alright, listen. I'm gonna leave you alive, but forget you ever saw me. I'm a rebel, Dottie. Okay, that was not great. Let's duck in the lucky star here quick and uh, see if we can find Muddy's room. God, I've been working on that quest for like 10 episodes. Maybe we'll get somewhere. Hold on here. Um, journal. Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, lucky motel. Okay. Sorry, no video. Feel free, man. This is a treasure trove of human banality. Working here, you meet lots of types, man. You, you get stories, you get characters, you get like, you know, this is the kind of place where writers go to study human behavior, man. It's invaluable. That you're a writer? Writer's such a tarnished term, you know what I mean? It's like, like every other guy says he's a writer, right? Like, you write a letter, you're a writer, you know? It's like, what I do, that's like, that's screenwriting. Like, I encapsulate the essence of excellent film in my scripts, all right? Like, I'm not, I'm not like a blacksmith with pens, right? I'm a welder of montage. Wow. What do you write? Does a writer write, or does he just like oh, God. ink the flotsam and jetsam floating in his subconscious into a 120 page piece of film genius? But, you, you know, most of my subconscious is filled with old horror films, so that's what I write mostly, I guess. Oh, cool. Um. Horror? Me? I'm like looking to redefine the vampire movie, okay? Like, tons of people make vampire flicks, like popular characters, but me. I'm going to be doing the real deal. Like, not only is it going to be scary, but it's going to be, like, it's going to be believable. Vampires? What well, do you mean about Well, my story is not like about garlic and bats, okay? It's about vampire societies and stuff. You know, like, what would vampires be really all about? I mean, how do they blend into society without being discovered? Oh, see, I must be going now. The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and we tend to... Oh! <laughs> gonna have to suck all your blood out and hopefully that conversation with it and hey why don't you call me sometime area code 323 KL5 KTRK looks like somebody's been waiting in the queue quite a while to speak to yours truly so call him alright so this place isn't that great I guess um Check out all the rooms one by one. Low a difficulty of eight. I can actually blood buff up. That is when I'm not accidentally feeding the door. Come on. There we go. Oh what? Alright. I guess can't pick that lock. Um. Okay, I can't really get into any of those rooms. Um Maybe this one? No, difficulty eight. Oh my god! My work is done! God damn it! Brothers Salvage. What the hell just happened? Business card from Brother Seneca and Santa Monica at the latest murder scene. <sighs> Alright. Oh, hold on one second. Let's look at character. Can we... See, my lockpicking is only five. Can I increase my lockpicking somehow? Dexterity and security. Security is there. Dexterity is what? Cost eight? That increases a bunch of stuff. So let's do that. So now we're up to seven. So we're still not good enough, so we'll have to come back later. Pick those locks. You know, I really don't think sucking people's blood works like a 
flashy thing in black. Night eating you? Did you know there's a dead body in one of your rooms? Already? Man, that's early for a night. Oh well, I'll, I'll, I'll call the cops, but who knows when they'll show up to, to protect and serve, right? <laughs> Guess I'm out of here, man. Wow, that was... Uh, do I head to Santa Monica and try to handle that? I don't know, it seems to be quite the wild goose chase. But... Yeah, I think that's my play. I'll come back downtown and investigate the rest of this Ground Zero and all the other stuff later. Those story quests shouldn't really expire, so let's hit Santa Monica. Where to? Hey, buddy. Santa Monica. Did you ever hear that uh, Theory of a Dead Man song about Santa Monica? I think it's in, um, whatever, what's that game? Fahrenheit 451 or whatever that weird, in, yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, salvage, salvage, oops, not that way, hmm. trips pawn shop, curio's apartment, there's not a lot of space left in this area of town at all, gimbal's prosthetics, I guess it is on this other side. Huh. Hmm. Foxy boxes. Hey, sorry. Come here, brother salvage. try this man every building in santa monica every building gosh that's good game design whoa what the fuck where'd you go that was not the guy that i saw jump through the window that was somebody all right dog i don't want to fight you Dog, just chill. I know that there's nothing wrong with pit bulls. Everything. Oh, crap. Hey, asshole, come back here. You fucker, come back here. Oh, Jesus. Come back, Muddy. Dude, I'm trying to help you. Did he just throw a car in me? Dude, what the hell are you doing? Come here. Oh. Oh no. Oh lordy. Ah, uh, between the giant fires. Oh, here we go. Buddy! Dude, where the hell? There you are. Dude, come here. No! Back off, vampire! Stay the fuck back! I did nothing to you! You threw a car at me. Dude, tell me why you did it. What the hell do you care? I don't give a damn if you understand. You're a vampire. Um... All the same. Why? So you can pass judgment on me? So you can decide if those murderers deserve to be gutted? You'll never know how it feels, never! Dude, try. Try to make me understand. My family, my children were butchered by small-time criminals just looking to rob a house, steal a car, take whatever. No sense to any of it. No plan, no ransom. Just kill them because why? Because they were there in the way? There's really nothing you could have done. Not one of them paid. My whole family dead, my life gone. I'm supposed to let that happen. I understand, man. I tracked them down, hunted them, one by one, caught them all. The one you saw in Hollywood. He was the last of them. So your revenge is complete. Revenge, justice, whatever you want to call it. All I thought about is taking these evil animals, ripping them to shreds, and licking their blood from my claws. Okay, dude, you have to... 
you have to be in control. Dude, you have to be more in control. I don't know. Butchering those bastards was the first time I felt anything since my family was torn from me. I'm sure there are others out there whose crimes have gone unpunished. Bruv, dude, no, 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 no. You can't. You have to... You're just looking for excuses. Um... It's got a hold on you, man. At least I put it to use. How many vampires have used their abilities for a just cause? At least I did something! You know, that's true, but you, you really have to chill, man. Um... You better practice more control. I can't turn my back on the evil in this world. Do you think your family would be proud of you, bro? No. Oh, God, no. No. It's got to stop. I can't live like this. You're right. Oh, God, you're right. I'll never do it again. I swear. Forgive me. Dude, all right. Go get on with your own life, man. <laughs> That's so cool. I've never done that quest before. I didn't know, like, I knew that, Mud like, I didn't know that Muddy, the, the bounty hunter, was, um, the guy. Like, it's so cool. Oh, man. No, like, that's really neat. I have never got, I've never done that before. I've always left that unfinished. That's so cool. Oh, I'm really jacked. Um, I already got that reward, so that's just broken. Um, Find Gary, fine. I'm not, this I already failed because I didn't, I didn't actually get the one in the museum. But that's fine. I can always go back. Um, yeah, so cool. Then all I have to do is head back to Chinatown and, um, or not Chinatown, Hollywood. Chinatown, it's always there on the map, but I haven't. All right, I'm just going to head back to Hollywood and I think that'll do it for this episode. This is another short one, but I'm really jazzed. I caught the serial killer. The bloody killings of people are gonna s stop. And also, all those people that he killed were bad people, so it's like, it's fine. Like, everything's cool. I, c I can't say enough good, man. So I'll see you guys next time.